on the Avenue Pettus Bridge. You'll recall that people were fighting for voting rights and civil rights and were turned back by billy clubs no. and horses and tear gas. People have fought before. They know what it's like to fight down in some. And as I reflect on this journey that I'm going to be making, I'm also reminded, as I think I spoke to you the last time, about uh, the history of organized labor in bringing about justice. Uh, not only in helping build the conditions that allow workers to have bathroom breaks and give them overtime and help create social security and help create all the working conditions that people take for granted, but, but also uh, the degree to which they helped organize the, the March on Washington where Dr. King delivered that speech saying, I have a dream. People don't remember that he didn't just march for justice that day, they were marching for jobs. And that A. Philip Randolph and the Pullman Forward and the UAW and everybody was involved in labor because they knew that if there is injustice anywhere, if it's a threat to justice everywhere, if some workers are being oppressed, then everybody's being oppressed. That's what ASCII stood for. I spoke about the last time I was with all of you. The Memphis workers, people don't remember what was at stake in the organizing that led to Dr. King's death, that he was standing up for folks who for years had been simply trying to get a, a decent wage and, and a raise and, and serve the city without complaint, picking up people's trash and for little pay and, and even less respect, and how they went on strike and how their demands were simple. They were the same demands that everybody is making here today in this ballroom.